Hidden in plain sight, an ancient road snakes through the hills of Greater Tokyo for over 10 kilometers, going up and down ridges, behind subdivisions, and cutting through forests. As I head out to hike this old road, I wonder if I will get caught in a storm or get lost in the forest where I'll get stuck in the dark. One thing is for sure, you would never guess to find something like this here. Okay, after some searching, I think I found the way to the entrance of this path. It's called the Tama Yokoyama no Michi, and it's a 10 kilometer path that I've been wanting to do since I discovered it. If this hike, this climb is any sign of things to come, we're gonna be up in the hills. Okay, this right here is a very good sign. Right here, the path goes up, and it's right here that my phone says we should be going this way. I don't know too terribly what much to expect, and it's about three o'clock, so starting this late, I sure hope I can make the whole trail before it gets too dark. Okay, it's 3.05 p.m. I found the head of the trail here. Here we go, it's going off in this direction, and we're gonna go 10 kilometers. Hopefully I have enough time to make it to the end, the Karakita station. This is gonna be an adventure, here we go. I've been looking forward to this. Here we go, very good sign. This means I have found it. And look, here we are. We're all the way at the top of this map here. And I'm gonna follow this puppy all the way down here to the end at Karakita. So here we go. This is just crazy. I don't know how many times I've driven on that road and had no idea this is up here. 10 kilometers before it gets dark should not be a problem. The problem is, do you have to watch out for the signs to know which way to go? And there's some places on the trail that are a little tricky to know where the turns go and not to get off. And so I really hope I get those right. That will determine if I can make this all in time or not. The train line where I started is all the way down there. There's the train I came on. And I had to hike all the way up here. So that gives a little bit of perspective. What a gorgeous day. If you talk about things that get me excited, let me tell you what, hidden trails that go along ridges through the middle of the suburbs, through the mountains and up back through different places, that gets me excited. That charges my battery, even though I use a lot of energy to walk something like this. There's lots of little turnoffs like that. And that way, which way do you go? Well, in this case, I'm gonna go the way that looks like the main route if there's no other marking and hope I stay on. Finding this trail was a happy accident because I took Ruth to go shopping at Book Off and I went to a nearby park and as I was walking there I came across a big sign and discovered that I had stumbled upon this huge trail that then I got really excited to do and I've wanted to do it since. I just discovered something I had no idea was here. This map I came across, and look at this huge trail that goes through Tama. It looks really cool. I really want to try this sometime. I went and looked it up later at home and found a guy who had done it and posted pictures of it, and I was like, yes, I gotta do that the next chance I get. These little plaques along the way. Wish my Japanese were a little better. I understand a number of these kanjis, but there's a bunch I don't. But there, that's the good sign right there. Tama Yokoyama no Michi. We are in the right place. I read that this route follows an old trading route that used to be the road through the Tama Hills that connected several areas. And people and the traders would go and use this road to get around. Now there's some main roads right down into the valley next to this, which have become the main roads. But this path exists as a reminder of the ways that people used to get around. Pretty cool. My phone says I've walked two kilometers so far. So we're doing good, making good time. I think we got this. I hope we got this.
This has been going up for a while. I bet there's a view coming up. I bet there's a view. And sure enough, what a view. See the trail continuing along that ridge in the distance. Oh boy, that's where we're going. This was not a sunny day. But now, as I get out here, the sun's coming out some, but the clouds are still beautiful. It's one of those beautiful spring days that isn't too hot, and it's not chilly either. Feels like rain might be coming here. There are a lot of different places where it veers off, but if you look for these plaques, and especially these signs, I've seen a lot of these signs here. They're very helpful. They have distances, and they show you which way the trail goes and you can know okay here we go we're going across the road here now not all of this trail is an actual trail some of it follows along the road or past the backs of businesses and and different things some schools are along the way it's lots of different interesting things that you find along this trail Well, it appears to cut through a university here. There's all kinds of ball fields. Looks like a nice place. And then look at that. There you go. Yokoyama no Michi. This way. I must say it's a little disconcerting to see me walking on a road here. Hopefully that doesn't last long. Okay, good sign. Good sign here. There's another one. All right, here we go. We're right here, it started up here, and it looks like maybe roughly third of the way, making decent time. All right, I found the sign. We will not be on the road anymore. That's the road, and here comes our path. All right. <laughs> here we go. Well, you can tell you're walking a ridge, because there's a lot of ups and downs. There's a nice little butterfly or a moth. Here's a joke for you. What do you tell a Japanese butterfly who you want to stay still and not move? Chocho mate kudasai. See, it sounds like shosho mate kudasai, which is like, wait a moment, but the word for butterfly is chocho. So it's a play on words in Japanese. Hey, if you don't like it, just you know, let me know in the comments. I don't know. Every once in a while, you can kind of get a sense that you're up on this ridge. There's, you can see down the valley that way. And this definitely goes down over here too. Very interesting. And then the ridge just keeps going. Like my feet walking this ridge. There we go. Just when you think you've been walking on the street a long time, then comes another sign that lets you know it's time to veer off. There it is. And we'll be going up this way. Here we go. Oh wow, I know exactly where we are. We just happened to come across the park where I stumbled across this trail for the first time. And now this part of the trail, the next two kilometers or so, I've walked already. I know it. I tell you what, it sure does look like it could rain. I hope not yet. Oh, here's the sign I originally stumbled across. And I was like, what? What a huge trail. 
And look at this, a proper bathroom. I'm gonna have to use it. Well, my app says I've been walking for an hour and 18 minutes, a distance of over five kilometers. I'm doing pretty good. I burned 360 calories so far. Now, not all those kilometers are on this trail because I had to walk at least a kilometer, I would say, maybe more to get to the trailhead. So what's my snack today? It would be cheese, fruits, and nuts, 180 calories in this one pack is perfect. Like I said, this used to be an old trade route, but what's really interesting is at the end of this trade route, do you know what there is? A Costco. <laughs> there you go. It's amazing how dark it gets under these woods here. You can tell it's getting later in the day and the sun is hidden, so. Here we go, back out onto a road. Go this way, please, it says. Well, okay, I will. This parking lot right over here is where I came and I parked when I left Ruth at Book Off. A good shopping trip really recharges Ruth's batteries. And it can for me sometimes, but not always. There's just all kinds of vending machines along the way. I brought water with me, but I really didn't need to, because look at all these vending machines. I can count five right now, right here. This is one of the parts that surprised me last time. Is all of a sudden, you're walking on this trail and it goes up next to this road, it's drop off on one side and the other side, it's a big drop off down to all kinds of sports fields. And, and then you look out and you have an awesome view of the city. It's just like, man, what is this place? What is this trail? There was no rain in the forecast. I'm gonna check my weather app because it sure looks dark over there. I would not want to get stuck in the rain. Doesn't look like it's supposed to rain just yet. Let's hope it stays that way. Now this part really messed me up last time because the trail actually continues up there. But in order to get up there, you have to cross here, go over there, and then go up. But according to that sign, I thought, oh, 3.2 kilometers that way? Oh man, at least they have this one right here to make it much more clear what you're supposed to do. So I learned something watching some of the hikers that I like to watch on YouTube. It's called cameling up. And basically what you do, instead of carrying your water on your back, you drink a lot of it and carry it in your stomach. And then it's lighter on your shoulders and it's easier to carry. Cheers. This part right here would be absolutely beautiful during the sakura. All these are sakura trees here. And right up here is where I saw the snake when I first came up this trail. That was, that was pretty exciting. Sarah would absolutely freak out. I came up on a snake. Yes, a snake. Look at that, he's slowly moving away. Oh my goodness, that's right, move away snake in these bushes here, amazing. I guess you just never know what you're gonna find on the trail. This is the first time I've seen a snake, I think in Japan, just out in the, the wild, <laughs> it's not even the wild. This part here feels a little strange because it's like you're walking up somebody's driveway. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's their garage and you're like, oh, hey, what's up? I was like, did I get lost? Am I still in the right place? Yes, I was still on the right place. Just happens to be his house is built right on the path. This little section right here might win the award for the prettiest flowers along the trail. At least it does so far. <laughs> Here's as far as I came last time. And now from here on out, I had to really pay attention to signs because I'm not quite sure where to go. But I think I know where my first stop will be. A little stop at the 7-Eleven for a little nigiri and a drink. And look at this. I 
don't know how many times I've driven on this road right here and had no idea that this was here. This is quite the castle looking complex. Boy, that would be fun. The kids would love that. A recreation hall. Well, here we go. We're going to cross over and continue that way. I feel like it's been a little while since we had some all out nature. So this is refreshing to see again. And some people golfing down there. I found a little place to have my onigiri and my drink. All right. I don't know how good it is. I'm giving it a try. I hope it's good. It looks wet. That's important. And my onigiri which I know is good. <laughs> okay, back on the trail again. This should be the last little bit, I would think. Last couple kilometers. Karakita eki. Hmm. This really starts to feel pretty rural out here. It's pretty cool. Oh, and here's the recycling plant, I can see. But our path leads up, up, and away, so let's go. Well, the Karakita train yard is down there. All right, getting close now. And here we go, yet another sign. And we're doing really good, look at that right there. Shortcut to Karakita if I want to go here. That's a tough call because I would like to see the rest of this. But is there time? Boy, I don't know. It is dark in here. My goodness. There's the train yard down there. That's where I'm going to end up. And here comes the big choice. Do you take the shortcut to the end? Or do you go all the way to the end of the trail? I think I know what I'm going to do. If I would have taken the shortcut to the end, yeah, I would have gotten back sooner. But I tell you what, I would not know what's at the end of this trail. I gotta be honest with you, I'm in it to the end here. I wanna see what's at the end of this trail. I would always wonder, I wonder what the end of that trail is like. At least this way I'll know. <laughs> now I know what a lot of people are gonna say. Where are the rider kids? Where's Ruth? We miss their cute faces. We want to see them smile. We want to see them laugh. I do too. I do too. So I'm going to go home so I can see them and show them to you. Okay? Is that a deal? It's a deal. Oh, the street lights on. <laughs> and this road here, walking on a road, my goodness. Little sections like this make you hope and pray that you are actually following the path correctly. But I just saw the sign back there. So if it's not correct, at least I know I just have to go back just a little bit. I only messed up one time so far that I remembered. I went down the street a little bit and I thought this could not be it. And then I went back and found the correct way. <laughs> Into the dark tunnel. Wouldn't you know, right after I said that, I messed up. <laughs> this road right here is not the right path. I walked down a little bit, a narrow little road, and a car came down. And I'm like, mmm, this doesn't feel right. I came up this street, and then I went down that way, because I saw the signs there. But really, you're supposed to go this way, even though there's no sign here to tell you that. This is how I know. Google. Thank you, Google. Let's go. This isn't the end of the video, but I do want to talk about something that's called subscribing. Because YouTubers talk about it all the time. And I really kind of wish like we didn't have to talk about it. But the truth is, is that for every person who watches this video, if they like it and they like this type of content, then one of the best things you can do is subscribe and hit the bell. If you've never hit that bell before, here's what it does. It will let you know every time we post a video. If you hit subscribe, it will show you when we have a video, but it won't always pop up with all the videos. And we post every Friday at 7 p.m. Japan Standard Time. You can even join us 
for the live chat that happens at the same time. I hope you do. It's a lot of fun. Let's get back to the hike here. In three hours, I've walked over 11 kilometers. And so I've got to be getting close to the end of this trail here, I would have to think. And that's good because it's going to be getting dark within the next 30 minutes to an hour. But the rain held off and the trail was beautiful. And it's not done yet. Look at this. Around every corner, something new, something unexpected. It's just really cool. And dark. Cool and dark. Dark and cool. On one side, civilization and a driving school. And on the other side, nothing. Both the start and the end of this trail seem to include big places of just nature. And then when you're in the middle parts, it hugs the roads a lot more. Sometimes you even walk on the roads for a little bit. And then it tries to cut through the parks again and cut through these ridge areas that are really pretty. The first part of this trail is extremely well marked. You have little guideposts all along the way. And then you get to the part where it exits for Katakita Station and all the signage stops, even though the trail keeps going. But you really have to rely on Google Maps and just follow the trail as it goes. Something famous here, perhaps? Just a big valley. Look at this, a sign. How about that? Ah, uh, okay, now what? This way, maybe? Oh, ho, 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 ho. look what we found. Yes, Woo, that's reassuring. Oh, another sign, thank goodness. Which way do I wanna go? That's the way, right there. Okay, here we go. Actually, I did come back up this way because that just takes you down to the road and you're still across from where the trailhead is. And I look back at Google Maps once again and it shows this trail going over to a bridge that leads across the other side of the main road where the trail head or the trail finishes, whichever way you want to talk about it. Now the end of this trail is certainly a bit convoluted and I've had to take a couple different turns go a couple different ways to try to stay on the right path here. It is dark. There's the path. You would certainly not know it from this direction, but this is the path right there. There's no sign to let you know that's it. I just came out there and then you walk around up this way and there's the overpass. So my advice, if anyone's gonna walk this path, go up to where the Kadaki to turn off is and then cut across. You're not gonna miss that much. Well, I should take that back. I haven't seen the very end yet. We're about to go over the bridge and go see the other side of the road here. So it might still be different and worth it, but you just gotta really pay attention and follow Google Maps. It looks like this is supposed to be a major overpass that never panned out. So now it's just a really big pedestrian crossing for absolutely anyone who's on this walking path. Costco is through that tunnel there, take a right, and there's the Costco we like. If I had my car, I'd stop in and get some things and then head home. But as it is, I will be taking the train home. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I'm walking farther away from the station. I get here to the very end, I go to take this video, and it says battery exhausted, and the camera shuts off but at least I got my spare. And yes, we're here at the end. Here it is. Oh my goodness. Now to get back to the station in 35 minutes, when I watched this online and looked up the path, everyone cut off the last part and went to Karikida Eki, the station. I was like, well, how come no one does the last part? Okay, well, now I see why. <laughs> All right, I still have a 35 minute hike back to the station. It looks like a church up there, or maybe a wedding chapel. You know what looks really good at this point? 
food. Food looks really good at this point. But you know what also sounds really good is getting that station, getting on a train and sitting down. Pins on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I have pins on you. This is like an ass. That is so weird. <laughs> to school tomorrow like that. I can't wear this. Can I cut my hair? You want bangs? Yeah. Yo, yeah. mommy. <laughs> I look so little. No, mommy. No, mommy. Yes. 